What's up, stock fam? I'm back with another video. Had to give y'all the update on how my stocks was sitting after the market is closed. But before we get into these stocks, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. Turn your post notifications on. Now, I am doing a $100 cash giveaway when i reach 1000 subscribers the only thing you have to do is subscribe to my channel turn your post notifications on and the first four people that come in the code word that i say throughout the video when i reach 1000 subscribers will be the winners it's easy subscribe turn them post notifications on and watch my video now let's get into these stocks Okay, look at here. Looky, looky. I'm at a $48.50 loss today. Now, I've invested $780. I have a total gain of $284.72. My overall balance is $1,064.72. Now, I'm not a stock analyst, stock advisor, or financial advisor. When you invest in stock, you are taking a risk. Okay, now we're going to see. Beyond Me is down 0.92%. I've invested $88. I have a total gain of $68.69. I own one share. The, the price per share is $151.38. Man, come on beyond me. It should be going up, you guys. You know, the market went down, but Starbucks is starting to sell plant-based food. And we're going to see what it's going to do. El Dorado Resorts is down 6.45%. I've invested $15 and my total gain is $38.37. I mean $36.37. I own one share. The price per share is $41.16. And if you do not know what a particular stock is, go down to the about section, click on show more. And it will give you a brief description on that particular stock. But like I always say, stock fam, Google is your best friend. And obviously, I started investing April the 2nd, full-blown investing. Remember that? Okay, Overstock. Overstock is up 4.13%. I've invested $22.00. I have a total gain of $34.24. I own two shares. The price per share is $26.98. So that is doing pretty good. Comment below and let me know which one of your stocks have done good today. Penn National Gaming is down 9.34%. I've invested $11. I have a total gain of $26.13. I own one share. The price per share is $33.38. Because the market was taking a drop. Oh, my God. If you seen that drop today, subscribe right now. Let me know you seen that drop in the market. Anterio Resources is down 8.48%. I've invested $22. I had a, a total gain of $23.15. I own 17 shares. The price per share is $2.59. And it's dropping stock, fam. Anterior Midstream is down 5.42%. I've invested $33. I have a total gain of $21.36. I own 10 shares. The price per share is $5.41. And, you know, these shares are dropping as the stock market is going down, you guys. So, when the shares drop, hey, you should be buying. Aurora Cannabis is up 0.66%. I've invested $15. I have a total gain of $14.85. I own two shares. The price per share is $13.67. Now, Aurora Canopy, 
cannabis did rise about 9 12 this morning but it took a major drop so yeah it stayed up a little bit but it took a drop caesar's entertainment is down 3.21 percent i've invested 14 dollars. i have a total gain of 11 dollars and 14 cents I own two shares. The price per share is $12.05. And this is also a casino stock, you guys. Which is it's pretty good. Let's see. Let's check it. It's going up overall. It has been going down, but it went up major back in 2000. Let's see. Hmm, it went up a lot. 66. Did I say 66? 77. Hmm. That was a lot. Board Gaming is up 8.83%. I've invested $13. I have a total gain of $10.07. I own one share. The price per share is $21.21. And let's see. Let me see. Well, would y'all would invest? Oh, well, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's down 5.44%. So, let's see. If you invested about 1050, 1055, you should have seen some gains. But it would have dropped. But you would have saw some gains. A little, a little gain. You would have seen just a little bit. Carnival. Carnival is down 11.11%. I've invested $9. I have a total gain of $8.56. I own one share. The price per share is $16. So it took a major fall. Man, they going down today. It's going down. Now, Plug Power is still up 17.73%. Now, if you invested in this probably Monday, Monday or two, yeah, probably Monday, you should see a whole bunch of gains. I've invested $10. I have a total gain of $7.20. I own two shares. The price per share is $7.57. Because this, it's been going up. It's been going up. Okay, so it's been going up since, let's see. What about Friday? Mm -hmm. hmm, since Thursday. So if you invested in this Thursday or Friday, it really, sh you should have gained a lot. So, yeah. Y'all should see some gains on Plug Power. I've been waiting on them to do something. Okay, we got Hertz up 29.84%. I've invested $11. I have a total gain of $6.92. I own 11 shares. The price per share is $1.61. Even though it's up 29.84%, now it was really through the roof about 9.30. 9.30, It was like top. It topped. Like, that was amazing. But then it just dropped back down. But you should still see gains. If, I say, if you got in when the stock opened, or maybe even yesterday. Let's see. Let's check it. Okay, Wednesday. Uh, okay, if you got in Tuesday, you should see some gains. Major gains. Major gains. Okay. Barrick Gold. Barrick Gold is up 0.12%. I've invested $46. I have a total gain of $6.40. I own two shares. The price per share is $25.71. And if you would have got in this morning, hey, you should see some gains. Just a little bit. You should see just a little. 
Zynga. Zynga is down 80.84%. I've invested $14. I have a total gain of $5.99. I own two shares. The price per share is $9.48. So it's been going up for a couple days, but now it's dropping. MGM is down 8.29%. I've invested $13. I have a total gain of $5.30. I own one share. The price per share is $16.93. Now, these resorts has been going down, but guess what? Casinos, you guys. These resorts on Las Vegas Strip. Even though they're going down, they're going to go back up because, you know, overall, I've lost a lot of gains, but I do not cash out my gains just because of this simple fact. When the stock market goes down, it take off my gains, not my money that I've invested. So as long as you got gains, you ain't got to worry about it going into your money, your total investments. Norwegian Cruise Line is down 12.37%. I've invested $12. I, my total gain is $4.66. I own one share. The price per share is $15.80. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. If you're new watching this, I see y'all watching my videos and y'all are not subscribed. So if you're new watching my videos, hit that subscribe button. Ford is down 3.25%. I've invested $26.00. I have a total gain of $4.39. I own five shares. The price per share is $5.95. So Ford is dropping. What about them airlines? Okay, American Airlines is down 6.86%. I've invested $10. I have a total gain of $3.67. I own one share. The price per share is $13.04. I still got a little gain left. Hey, I'm waiting on them arrows to go the other way. And y'all already know what way that is. Up. Uber is down 7.84%. I've invested $28. I have a total gain of $3.42. I own one share. The price per share is $30.46. So, I got a little gain left if they want to go down a little bit. But, you know, I always stay positive, you guys, because I will, I want these stocks to rise just like you. United States Steel is down 6.88%. I've invested $13. I have a total gain of $2.06. I own two shares. The price per share is $7.45. And you may ask, well, how did I get two shares for $13? And it's, the share price now is $7.45. Because, you guys, I started investing in April. Yes, it makes a big difference. Because, remember, the market crashed. And I took advantage of that crash. Canopy growth is down 3.7%. I've invested $16. I have a total gain of $1.63. I own one share. The price per share is $16.71. But even though I got gains, hey, my gains drop just like y'all drop when this all these thoughts want to just go down today. Energy transfer is down 5.8%. I've invested $7. I have a total gain of $1.58. I own one share. The price per share is $7.48. So it took a major drop at about 1040, 10.45. There was a major drop, but it came back up. So it got in about 10.40, 10.45. You should see some gains. Tilray, cannabis stock, it's down 4.79%. I've invested $8. I have a total gain of $1.02. I own one share. The price per share is $8.15. 
So Tilray been quite wavy today. It took a major hit about 10.55. So that was that like the perfect time to get in if you want to see a little gain. Not much, but just a little bit. Chronos Group. Chronos Group is down 2.30%. I've invested $15. I have a total gain of $0.17. Cents. I own two shares. The price per share is $6.38. And it seems like this probably went down about the same time. Yeah, about the same time. Yep. Those patterns again. Liberty Global is down 3.42%. I've invested $23. I have a total loss of $0.10. Cents. I own one share. The price per share is $21.43. So it probably did the same drop about the same time. Close to it, but the time frame is about the same. Spirit Airlines has went into the negatives, you guys. I am down, well, it's down 9.90%. I've invested $18. I have a total loss of $0.20. Cents. I own one share. The price per share is $16.92. So I am losing a little, but just because you're losing money on certain stocks doesn't mean sell. Now, if you're, if you're not able to lose money, sell it. But when you invest in stock, you guys, I would not recommend investing your last or, you know, your hard earned saved money. But, you know, just some spare money you got, you want to put in some stock, hey, put it in there. But if you're not able to lose it and you invest it and you, you're losing, sell it. Just That's just my opinion. Now, you don't have to go by that. General Electric is down 6.71%. I've invested $21. have a total loss of $0.32. Cents. I own three shares. The price per share is $6.53. And General Electric has been going down, down, down. But hopefully it rises up soon, sooner than later. Glaxo Smith is down 2.21%. I've invested $43. I have a total loss of $1.41. I own one share. The price per share is $40.67. Now, as these shares going down, it's like the perfect time to invest, you guys. If you have not started investing, as these shares drop, it's the best time to invest. Because when they go up, you can gain. Under Armour is down 3.96%. I've invested $22. I have a total loss of $1.61. I own two shares. The price per share is $9.47. Now, if you want to buy more since the share price is going down, just click buy and make sure you, you see one-time purchase. If you don't want to buy the whole share, you can always invest a dollar, $2, $3, $4, or whichever amount you want. And click next. And if you want to reinvest in certain stock on a daily basis, weekly basis, or every two week basis, there's a minimum of ten dollars for recur recur recurring purchases. So you have to invest at least ten dollars on a daily. If you wanted to invest ten dollars on a daily basis, ten dollars on a weekly basis, or ten dollars every two weeks. Hey, that is your option. AMC is down 6.8%. I've invested $27. I have a total loss of $2.63. I own five shares. The price per share is $4.79. And I am losing money. Numer Group. It's down 6.11% today. 
I've invested $29.27. I have a total loss of $5.96. I own five shares. The price per share is $4.61. Now, this is getting quite ridiculous. It really is. And it went down about the same time. Y'all, it's in the t- same time period. That time's, you know, those are the patterns you have to look for. But we know that once they go down, we don't know the exact time when it's going to come up at that moment. So, you know, you just have to have that perfect timing. Widening petroleum. Out of all the time I've been waiting on this one to go up, it want to go fall back down into the negatives. Come on. It got it got to be a better way. Now, it's down 12.12%. I've invested $125.73. Now, I've lost $7.02. After I've gained about $200 or something, maybe something like that, if y'all seen that video, then you know what I'm talking about. Now, it took a major dip about the same time, and it went back up. And it just balanced out all the way through to 3 o'clock. I've got 102 shares. The price per share is $1.16. Now, this is a cheap stock. But if you invested in in it about, I say, uh, 10.50, somewhere up in there, 10.50, 11 o'clock, you should at least gain a a little something. You know, as the stock goes down, though, hey, you guys, the share prices are cheaper, and you can invest. But why didn't petroleum? It, they got to do better, y'all. Stop, fam. Come on. They got to do better. Okay, now that you've seen all my positives and my negatives, as long as your positives outweigh your negative and you are still gaining, it's okay to have positive, but I'm not saying to lose a lot of money. Now, I've been in the situation where I've lost a lot. But when those stocks shot up through the roof, stock fam, man, they came up out of them negatives and they just went up. So if you see any stocks on my portfolio that you want to invest in, make sure you do your research first before you invest into any stock. Now, my followings. Let's see what's going on with my following list. Because every... Okay, Gilead Sciences, they're they're up. Now, everything is going down. Moderna up. And as y'all can see, we got a lot of down arrows today. This can't go on forever. So y'all be prepared to see some some rises. Marathon Oil is down like 8.53%. And that this same pattern, I would say about 1050. Everything seemed to have dropped. That stock, that share price is $5.79. That same let's let's check US food, see do they have that same time frame. Same time frame, stock fam. The same, the same, the same. Boy, is anything gonna be up today? Is anything up today, y'all? T Mobile. That's it. We got Dave and Buster down 12.14%. That share price fourteen dollars and eighteen cent, and I'm guaranteed ten fifty. I knew it. That pattern, Wind Resorts down eleven percent. Royal Caribbean Cruises down eleven point twenty six percent. Everything just going down the drain. But stop, fam. Do not. You know, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Just like it goes down, it got to go back up. It's not going to go down forever. But see any stocks on this list that you want to invest in and you haven't, 
the share prices are down. The best time to invest when those prices go down, because it's gonna have to. It's it probably about to be a bull run, y'all. It, it's it's about to be. Now the most traded monthly. Okay, we got Apple, Tesla, and Amazon is down. Would this be a good category to choose from? Hey, I would not recommend it, but if you see any stocks on this most traded monthly category and you want to invest in it, just do your research first. The biggest daily movers, Hertz. Hertz is at the top. Hertz is at the top. Hertz has been at the top. Plug Power, second. Now we got Carvana down 12.4%. That share price is $112.25. Now, if you want to invest in that particular stock, you don't have to buy the whole share. You can always do it fractional. $2, $3, whatever you want to invest or able to invest, you can do that. You do not have to purchase the whole share. Now, the biggest daily mover, I mean, these can be stocks that went up the most or went down the most. But like I said, the share prices are down. So if you want to invest while those share prices are down, make sure you do your research first. Now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I post another video. And don't forget, I will be doing a $100 cash giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers. The only thing you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn your post notifications on. And the first four people that come in, the code word that I say throughout the video will be the winner. It's simple. Subscribe if you're new, turn on those post notifications, and watch the video. That's all you have to do. Now, I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I love the support. Y'all keep watching, share my videos, like them. And, hey, tell a friend to tell a friend to come and watch me. I will be with y'all later with another video. Peace.